Hello viewers, I hope all of you are fine. Today I am going to talk about what is electric field, what is electric field strength and what are electric field lines and how we can represent these electric field lines. Now let's first discuss what is electric field. Electric field is basically the space or region around a charge in which its electrostatic force can be felt by another test charge. For example, this is a source charge and this is a test charge. When we brought this test charge towards this source charge, then it will either be attracted or repelled by this source charge. It depends upon the nature of these two charges. For example, if this is a positive charge and this is a positive charge, then it will be repelled by this positive charge. And if this is a positive charge and this is a negative charge, then it will be attracted by this source charge. Another point that must be remembered is that this test charge must be kept very very smaller compared to the source charge because otherwise it will disturb the electric field of this source charge and we cannot get the exact or the true value of the particular electric field strength or a particular electrostatic force that we want to calculate. That's why we take this test charge smaller compared to the source charge. Now, the space or region around this charge in which this electrostatic force, uh, electrostatic force of uh, this source charge can be filled by another test charge is known as electric field. And when we represent that electric field by certain lines, then that lines are called electric field lines. But the question arises that how we can represent that electric field lines, then it depends upon the nature of this charge and also the nature of this charge. For example, if this positive charge is a source charge and if this is also a positive charge which is known as a test charge and we brought this test charge towards this source charge then it will be repelled. That's why we can draw electric field lines of this positive charge radially outward because it is it repelled this test charge radially outward. So we can imagine that the electric field lines are radially outward in this case which we draw here electric field lines are radially outward because the electrostatic force felt by this positive test charge in the vicinity of this source charge is basically in this direction similarly if we put this positive test charge here then the electrostatic force is in this direction so electric field line is radially outward in this direction this is for isolated positive test charge Similarly, we can also draw electric field lines for isolated negative charge. For example, if we put a positive test charge here in the field of this negative source charge, then this positive test charge will be attracted towards this negative charge because the force is attractive between these two charges. This is a positive and this one is a negative. And this F is equal to EQ0 is basically the electrostatic force that is exerted by the source charge on this test charge but how we can trace the electric field lines practically or experimentally then for that purpose you must have to apply electric field between two oppositely charged parallel plates and by placing some insulating medium having some tiny suspended particle then when you apply electric field across that insulating medium consists of tiny particles then that tiny particle acquire certain shape which is basically the shape of the electric field line which we will trace here in this direction so or like this or like this depends upon whether you take two charges or a single charge so therefore if you want to observe the electric field lines then for that you must have to apply electric field across tiny particle in a suspended insulating fluid so that is the experimental confirmation for that. Now let's also discuss here what is basically the electric field strength. Electric field strength is basically electric field intensity. And electric field intensity or electric field strength is basically the physical quantity which describes the strength of electric field of a particular charge. So as we know that it is basically electric field strength or electric field intensity which is basically force exerted per unit test charge placed in that particular electric field 
you see here that this is a positive source charge and we place our brought near this charge a small test charge so when we brought this test charge near this positive source charge then electrostatic force will be exerted by this positive charge on this test charge and that electrostatic force per unit test charge represent the electric field strength and this electric field strength is basically depends upon the separation between two charges or the distance between two charges it means that by brought or by brought test charge near a source charge closer the electric field strength increasing and if you take away this test charge from the source charge then the electric field strength is decreasing in that case so that's why electric field strength depends upon the distance between two charges if you pull apart the test charge from the source charge then the electric field strength in that case will be decreases it means that electric field strength strength in this position or at this position is weaker compared to the electric field strength at this position and the electric field strength at this position is much weaker than the electric field strength at this position so the electric field strength become increases towards a positive charge and decreasing away from positive charge similarly you also can suppose that electric field strength or can define electric field, electric field strength at different points in this region now let's come back towards the properties or characteristics of these charges electric field lines are readily outward from the positive charge because it repels the positive test charge that's why we we'll draw here the outward electric field lines of this isolated charge the electric field lines here in this case is radially inward because upward because this is a negative source charge and this is a positive test charge so therefore if we place this positive test charge near this negative source charge then it will be attracted by this negative source charge now instead of one isolated charge if we brought two same charges or two similar charges towards each other then it will repel each other because of what because of similar nature of electric fields and we got a particular region between these two charges where there is a net electrostatic force on a positive charge will be zero and that region is called neutral zone in neutral zone there is no electrostatic force on this charge because the cancellation of electrostatic forces of these two charges in that region now here you see the shape or observe the shape of the particular electric field lines in case of the two same charges in both cases you see here that the electric field lines are radially outward but the shape is different from this one because these are positive positive charges and these are positive negative charges when you brought two charges of opposite nature towards each other then the field lines acquire a shape which is curved one compared to the straight line one radial field radial field only exists in case of isolated charge but the curved field exists in case of two charges whether they are positive or whether they are negative so therefore this curvature you see here is because of the attraction of these two charges towards each other so here the electric field lines are again outward from positive charge and inward towards a negative charge here you also see that the electric field lines start from positive charge and terminate on negative charge another interesting point that should be noted here is that these electric field lines can never cross each other because electric field is a vector quantity and if these two lines crosses each other then at one point there will be two direction which is physically impossible similarly the direction of the electric field at any point can be represented by drawing a tangent lines to that curved path of the electric field now if you draw here tangent line then it will give the direction of electric field at this point and if you draw a tangent line here then it will give us the direction of electric field at this point so you can find the electric field intensity direction at different point in case of the curved field lines and in case of those straight directed radial field lines electric field direction is very simple and which is in this case is like this and in this case it is in this direction so these are the different 
characteristics are positive or negative charge similarly the another one characteristic is which is the basic and very simple one is uh, when you place two positive and negative plates near each other and the <coughs> spacing between the plates is uh, very very smaller compared to the size of the plates then the electric field between the plates is very very are nearly uniform in between the plates here you see that the field between these positive and negative charges is almost uniform because the field lines are equally spaced apart each other so uniform field is basically that kind of field or that type of field in which electric field lines are equally spaced apart from each other and their length is also similar so the magnitude of electric field at this point or at this point or at all points in between the plates is same if you draw a particular line then if we put a positive test charge here here or here or maybe here then the electric field strength is similar at all points across this line because of what because this is a uniform electric field similarly the region where the field lines are crowded the electric field strength will be greater and the region where the electric field lines are not crowded are apart from each other then in that case the electric field strength is smaller so crowded field lines means greater electric field strength in that region and small electric field lines means there is a small electric field strength in that region here you see this blagging on or pranging of electric field this blagging or pranging of electric field we can exclude this in case of uniform field because when we suppose only this region then this represents the uniform electric field and if we consider also this blagging out or this fringing electric field then this fringing field represents the non-uniform regions and this middle region represents the uniform electric field region let's now discuss another interesting physical quantity here which is known as the electric field intensity electric field intensity is basically the number of electric lines of force passing through certain area is known as electric field intensity of that particular region or at that particular region for example this is negative charge or if, if you take this positive charge and you imagine here a particular area then the number of lines passing through that area represent electric field intensity and as you know that electric field lines or electric field strength is inversely related to the square of the distance so it means that by placing this imaginary area apart from this source charge the, then the possibility of number of lines pa that will cross this region is very very smaller or the small number of electric field lines will cross this region and if you so that's why the electric field strength at the electric field intensity in that case will be smaller and if you brought closer this area towards this charge then more number of lines are passing through that area so the electric field intensity increasing so the electric field intensity depends upon the distance between the particular supposed area and the charge which is placed in that particular region now similarly if you place here the imaginary or suppose imaginary area here then electric field lines passing through this region for example is 10 then the electric field strength value is up one particular value but if you brought that particular area apart from this region then maybe five number of lines are passing through that particular region so that means that the number of electric field lines in that case will be smaller compared to the first one case so the electric field intensity decreases in case of broadening or in case of uh, if we brought the imaginary area apart and if uh, we brought that imaginary area towards the charge then the electric field intensity will be increasing so these are the basic fundamental definitions and explanation of these physical terms 
which is very necessary for understanding of electrostatics. Thanks for your time. Must like and share this video. Thanks.